my head at night. I pray to God, watch over me, cause I ain't living right. Reminiscing how I told you that I've been hurt. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I have a little problem, a little issue going on with my car. Everything is fine, it's just one thing. It's the power, I think it's a cigarette lighter that stopped working. Well, I don't think it is, it stopped working. But my other power outlet is working. So I had a feeling that it's the fuse and it's the 15A fuse that's looked like this. I'm gonna show you guys. I got another one in here. Look like this. I have some more. They fell out. I had pop it open. They fell out. And uh, also, this car is a 2007 Toyota Avalon. So it have two fuse box. One of them is underneath the hood. And the other one is underneath the steering wheel. Which I am going to show you guys, of course. And the one that's underneath the steering wheel, it have this right here that tells you the uh, location of the fuse that you need to change. So at the top right here, I am gonna show you guys closer. Um, it said power outlet 15A. It said 15A power outlet. I think that's the one back here. And they have the 15A cigarette. It said CIG, so I know it's the cigarette light that they're talking about. I'm gonna change the both of them. I know the one that's on the armrest is working. It's working and I'm just gonna replace the both of them for the sake of, sake of it. I don't really have to since one is already working, but I'm gonna just replace replace both, put put in two new uh fuse, install two new fuses in there. The majority of the time that's the problem. Now, if that problem persists, when I, re when I replace the fuses, that means the power, the cigarette lighter outlet need to replace. That's no good. So I might just have to take it to the shop and let them change that. All right, in the, on the hood, they give you like this little tool thing, like a little clip that you clamp the, the fuse and pull it out. I had broke that, so what I did, I went to Family Dollar and I got me a pliers. I have this one and the pointy one. I already took the pointy one out. Show you guys how it looks. This one, this work, one works very good. It's more skinny to just clamp, hold onto the fuse and just pull it down. Because it's very tight at times, especially the position I have to put myself to get it. But further ado, let me get into this video. I don't want to hold you guys up boring you guys Here we go it's kind of hard for me to like record and try to do it okay I got it guys here it is if you guys can see it here it is I got it loose got it out and I'm gonna check it let me check to see if this is the bad one nope this is actually good guys this is the good one so <clears throat> i'm still going to install a the new one so i'm going to put this one back in actually i'm going to put in a new one and i'm going to remove the other one <clears throat> okay guys i basically replace the both of them and this one works it still works even though it didn't the, the fuse didn't really need to be replaced but i noticed this one let me remove this one remove this and this one in here is not lighting up and all at all so this one still doesn't work so the problem was let me start the engine up still no power Still doesn't work so basically the fuse is good what is not good is the the cigarette lighter socket that's inside need to replace and I'm gonna have to get that done when when I get some time so this basically need to replace I don't know how much they'll charge me at the shop 
to do so but i think they're gonna have to like remove this whole console right here and i don't think it's that hard to do but it will take some time so if you guys have that problem the easiest thing that you could check is the fuse it's the fuse box for your car you know all cars are different my vehicle is a 2007 toyota avalon and uh i have two fuse boxes i have one uh under the hood and one underneath the steering wheel that i showed you earlier in this video and also it have this that tells you what all the these uh mean was the location what you're looking for and as you can see right here 15a is the power outlet which was the one that's underneath the armrest the one that is bad is the 15a cigarette cigarette lighter yeah as you see it says cig guys can see it clearly now yeah it said power outlet at the top it's, it's the same 15a fuse but it's just that two different one the one for the cigarette is the fuse is good since i changed it but the cigarette lighter itself socket need to replace it's probably the wiring or the cigarette socket itself needs to be changed i don't know you guys probably wondering where why i have all these uh air fresheners the two of them is new i had just bought them at family dollar and i had one that was in there i never like throw it away since it is old yeah this one is basically no good but yeah that's my problem the only good thing i still have my power that i could still charge my phone because this one in the back works i just want to diagnostic diagnose my problem with this one why this one stopped working and i thought it was the fuse majority of the time is the fuse yeah majority of the time it's the fuse and if it's not the fuse it's the cigarette lighter outlet by itself or socket basically need to be replaced so i gotta take it to the shop and let them fix it diagnostic let them fix it let them replace it and i don't know how much they're going to charge but it shouldn't be that much well that's about it for this video for this video hope you guys enjoy it it was very easy as i said if you don't have the tool just go to family dollar and get your pliers get you the long skinny one it works perfectly for me to just pull out the fuse out of there and replace it and it was easy and simple and that's about it guys thank you guys for watching please like and subscribe hope it helps all vehicles are different you could check your owner's manual to see where your fuse box is located as i said for this one for the toyota the, the avalon i think it's from 2007 to 2012 it, it's located in the same place on the, the steering wheel and they also have on the hood as well so yeah that's about it hope you guys enjoy y'all saturday well i hope that video helped you guys and as i said all ve all vehicle is not the same but it's only two problems when that happened when your cigarette lighter don't work there's only two problems it's either the socket is no good or the fuse is blown sometimes the fuse will actually show sign if you look like in the middle of it they have like a crack or it disconnected or you see a little burnt inside of it a burnout like a dark like a dark spot in it inside of it which make it looks bad which means that it's no good and the other reason will be the socket is just burnt out it could be the burnt white inside of the socket or the socket itself is no good you could try to get a little vacuum try to vacuum it out clean it out and see it could be a little corrosion but if it don't works that's your problem two problems the fuse that's number one that's the easy fix number two is to replace it and majority of the time you just have to take it to the shop and just hopefully you could shop around and see who is cheaper because these mechanics out here be ripping people off especially if you're female like yeah they can't try me they can't try me like that i shop around and i see where 
who is cheaper, what is cheaper, what is the best price to get the job done. Some of them will be straight up with you, straight up front and give you a good price. Some people, some of them will work with you, some of them will don't. That's how it is. They're trying to make their money. But I hope you guys enjoy this video. I really appreciate you guys coming through. I had just helped my friend with that situation like a couple months ago. His Mercedes wasn't, uh, his sockets wasn't working at all. And I told him, I was like, yo, just look for your fuse box and look for the one that say uh, power outlet or cigarette light and change them. Man, he changed them. Everything is back working. And he got a 2000, I think it's like a 2001. I think it's, yeah, like a 2001. 2001 or 2002 Mercedes C Class and it's working. So my problem is different. I have a 2007 Toyota Avalon and I got to change my socket. Cigarette light is no good, but at least the the one the power the 12 volt power uh is actually 12 volt socket is actually working. I'm happy for that. At least I got some type of power to charge my phone. Appreciate it, you guys. Hope you learned from this video. Peace, and I'm out. Have a blessed day. Peace.